Hello viewers and welcome back. Today I got here a 2014 Ski-Doo 800R E-Tech motor and it had a crankshaft failure. It spun just about 100 degrees out of phase. If you want to learn what this means and learn how to check it on your machine, then stay tuned. The first thing you need to know about these crankshafts is they are two pieces, forged separately and pressed together in the middle. Out of phase means that joint in the middle has slipped and the motor is out of time. Now on this 800R motor, the flywheel key will be pointing straight up to the 12 o'clock position when the mag side is at top dead center and straight down to the six o'clock position when the PTO side is at top dead center. To make it easier for you to see, I've gone ahead and took a white paint pen and marked the 12 o'clock position. I've marked my flywheel key position and I've marked the six o'clock position. You can check the timing of your motor while it's in the machine. To do this, you'll need to take off your injectors and then take a clean screwdriver and put it down the injector hole. Then rotate the motor over until the piston is at top dead center. Right there is about top dead center on the mag side. And as you can see, the flywheel key lines up with the 12 o'clock position. Now I'm gonna go over to the PTO side and try the same thing. Now that I'm at top dead center on the PTO side, we can check our flywheel key position. And as you can see, it's pointing at about nine o'clock. This motor is way out of time. Here's a better view of what's going on on the end of the crankshaft. As you can see, the flywheel key is pointing straight up and down at the 12 o'clock position when the mag side is at top dead center. Then spin your motor around. And if your motor is timed properly, the flywheel key will be pointing straight down to the six o'clock position. On this motor, it keeps going and the flywheel key lines up just past nine o'clock when the PTO is at top dead center. Now I'm gonna pop the cylinder head off and show you what's going on inside the motor. Now that I got the motor opened up, we can take a look at the pistons, watch how they move, and see just how bad it is. As you can see, both pistons are at the top of the cylinder at the same time here. This is a clear sign there's something wrong. The pistons should be moving opposite each other. One should be going down while the other's going up. One should be at the top while the other's at the bottom. As I rotate the motor, you can see both pistons are moving down at the same time. And then they both start moving up at the same time as well. This is why my motor was only running on one cylinder, the mag side that was still in time. The PTO side was way out of time, down at the bottom of the cylinder when it was trying to fire. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click up here to check out the next video. This has been my Ski-Doo 800R E-Tech out of phase. Ride safe.